librarian at the Wake of McLennan County Libraries. I'm filming this video today because I'm going to teach you how to make cosmic design stocks. So they end up looking like this. See one here and then one here. Basically, you're splaying bleach on, bleach on socks and you are decorating them with glitter glue and paint. And so every sock is different. It depends on how you spray the bleach, but I'm going to show you the basic process today. So all you need for this is a sock or other materials. Some people use hats, some people use shirts. Um, there's a lot of really cool designs out there based on what you're using, but I'm using socks because it's relatively small. So black socks or just some dark colored socks. Um, bleach, I'm using concentrated bleach, but um, this is just so you can see the change in the color really quickly. You can actually use less concentrated bleach or just water it down. Um, you will need a spray bottle unless you want to drip the bleach, but I do recommend a spray bottle because it gets more out there and it disperses it a bit better. Um, that way you don't have little just dots on there. And I am using 3D fabric paint, so it has glitter in it and it's really easy because it's in these little squeezy tubes, but you can like get a paintbrush and dip it into paint and dot it. And you'll actually can see on this one that I have a bit of blue and a bit of um, orange and pink because I did use paint on this one. But today we're just going to use the glitter. Alrighty, so to get started, the first thing you do is bleach your sock. I recommend um, either being outside to do this on a not so windy day or getting a box, just a little box. That way when you spray it, it doesn't get on anything. So I'm just going to sort of hold the sock like this. I don't want the pattern so much up on here, so I'm just going to spray so that it's right on the foot part of the sock. Now, I would give it a few test sprays if I were you, and then carefully spray it. You really don't have to spray it more than once because it, it will soak in. And actually, as you can see, it's already starting to turn it um, reddish, which is what it'll do. It won't be completely white. Like you can see here that a lot of it is still red, but it will get a bit lighter. If at any point you want to stop the bleach uh, from dying, from bleaching it, um, just rinse it off in water. Um, a lot of the um, tutorials online will say to rinse it off in water, but I noticed that it doesn't make it too weak if you don't. So you could just leave it on there as long as you don't spray too much bleach. This is actually coming along really well. It's turning, um, yeah, it's turning red really quickly. So we can actually go ahead and start decorating it. Um, you don't really know how it's going to turn out at the end until it's all done. And this one actually took a few hours to dry before it looked like this. It had just been like red splotches. So definitely give it time. And I would suggest spraying less rather than more because, well, you can't go back if you spray more bleach. So for this, I am just going to add dots everywhere, like little stars. And of course, the, the bleach splays, you know, the bleach spray is um, also the stars, but these make it a little bit noticeable. You could probably use um, glitter glue for this too, but this is specifically glitter paint and it turns out really well. If you're putting these little um, dots of paint, especially if you're putting more paint, um, just be really careful because you don't want to make the piece of clothing too stiff on those places. Like if you do want to wear it rather than just have it have it there for display or something, um, you probably should not put very much. So just put like little dots or little streaks and you still be able to wear it that way, but it won't be like a big block of, of paint as if you just like painted it and it'll make it stiff and actually kind of uncomfortable to wear. And this particular fabric paint ends up drawing a little bit clearer so it won't be quite so white. Um, it ends up just looking shinier because it'll the white will fade and then it'll just be the glitter. You can also add streaks too. That doesn't affect how you can put the sock on if they're relatively thin, small. And then it's kind of like shooting stars.
You can use regular paint to create the streaks, but it goes on better if you have something that's more like the consistency of glue at first and you can squeeze it. It just goes on a little bit more easily. So let's add this color. And while I didn't bleach the top, you can always add, you know, the glitter glue to the top. It's like a continuation of the of the Starfield sort of a thing. You can also, um, when you're bleaching it, add a stencil, like a piece of cardboard that's thick enough. You cut it into the shape you want, and then you place it on the um, fabric, and then you spray it. And so basically you will have the spray sort of around the um, stencil. That way you can um, actually fairly clearly see the outline, and then it's a spray around it, and then you can add all your decorations. Oops. Sometimes I add a bit too much. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so at this point, this is what this particular sock looks like. And like I was saying, it will dry differently and it will look different. Um, these are some of the glitter paints that I used before. And as you can see, it looks very different than um, from when it's still wet. So um, definitely this is a craft. You kind of have to wait on to see the final product. And you will also get a chance to do this craft at our South Branch on June 24th. Um, so that's coming up really soon from 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. It's a come and go program for middle schoolers and high schoolers. So just come on by and we hope to see you there.